I, I wanted to ask you, I heard, you know, the famous Mike Breen bang call. I heard you came up with it while you were at Fordham. Did this, did this come from a late night brainstorming session or was it just something that you blurted out one time? What, how did that come about back then? No, the, no brainstorming. Um, w w when I was at Fordham, uh, obviously I joined the college radio station and, you know, we, I do a bunch of games, but a lot of the games because you, you evened it out with, with the different um, other broadcasters, student broadcasters. So the games that I didn't do, I always went to. I, obviously, I'm, I'm crazy about basketball. Fordham was my team. So there was about seven or eight of us that would go to every single game, not just the home games, the road games. I mean, because, you know, Fordham played Manhattan, Fairfield, LaSalle. Right. I'm on the East Coast. We even drove to the Notre Dame game, which is a story in itself. But it, it's um, it was our just way of banding together and rooting for our team. So I'd be in the stands for most of the games. And when a Fordham player hit a big shot, I just uh, it just came to me. I just started yelling out bang when it was a big shot. It didn't necessarily have to be a three pointer. And, um, you know, it just got me fired up as a fan. And I tried it on the air a couple of times on the radio uh, at the Fordham station, WFUV. And it just, it didn't seem right to me. I it just like, I don't know. Maybe you have to count it good. You have to say good before you say bang. And so I kind of shelved it for a while. I just kept yelling it in the stands. But then when I started doing television uh, several years later on some uh, Sports Channel America telecasts, uh, high school games of the week uh, that they're on TV, I, I thought it was a, a, a cool way of, of you know making a big play as concise as possible and, and that's the whole key to it Buster is you know when the crowd is going crazy and you make a call uh, most people's voices can't stand being at that high intensity level for right. a long the shorter the call I always think the more effective and what's what's uh, shorter than a one syllable word so uh, I kind of liked the way it sounded then and some people told me they th thought it sounded good so I stuck with it. Now how do you determine what deserves a bang? Because that's a very, you can't be giving out bangs in the first quarter. Like you have to choose who deserves that award, right? But I've heard you do one thing where if it's a beginning of the fourth quarter bang, it'll be like a bang a little bit longer. And then if it's later in the game, it'll be an even shorter, higher pitch bang. So there are different levels of bangs. How do you determine what deserves it? Well, it's interesting you ask that because there is some thought that, that goes into that. Um, I don't want to overuse it. To me, if I started using it all the time, it would wear out its welcome very quickly. Of course, quickly. of course. I don't want to, you know, every once in a while, I'll, I'll say it in the first half, if, if a team goes on like this incredible, you know, 20 to 2, 22 0 run, or a player hits like five threes in a row, even in the first quarter, and just the momentum and the crowd is fired up. It just, it, it feels right to do it. It wouldn't be the high intensity one like a game winner, but I think the momentum um, of either a player or, or a team just doing incredible things sometimes brings that up. As for late in the game, I, I try not to use it more than, than, I don't think I've ever done it more than three times in a game. Um, my preference is maybe one or two, but there are some games now with this incredible shooting from, from today's NBA players that um, there's so many big three-pointers in the fourth quarter that I'm tempted to use it more. <laughs> so sometimes it's really hard to hold back because I want to use it. But then if, if there's in the final minute, and it, depending on who's playing in the game, like if it's a Steph Curry game or a James Harden game, and these guys are knocking down threes from all over, uh, you want to save it for the really big, big uh, basket of the game and potentially game winner. So sometimes I'll hold hold on to it, and then a three pointer won't happen down the end, and I never wind up using it. So I've got to kind of, you know, sometimes I make the right decisions and I'll make the wrong decisions, and, and I'm just hoping that uh, that I make the right ones on this particular night. But that does answer my question. So there are bronze, silver, and gold level bangs. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> In an Olympic year. That's a that's a good way to put it. I like that. Yeah. <laughs>